Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Had one day of sun, and then it's back to this mess again. Anyhow, let me show you something out of my bag of tricks. Up here at the water pump panels, you hear some noise in the background. That's the old Honda 3000 up there hauling the mail. You have to excuse that background noise, but we hadn't pumped any water several days. We burnt through almost 700 gallons in, let's see how many days now. I think 13 or 14 days since this thing's pumped any water. We've not really tried to conserve, but you know, we had spare tanks, but had to go to the chlorine tanks and that's not the best to be drinking. So uh, we've had to resort to bottled water, but I found a solution. As you can see here, the RPS controller is pumping, hitting MPPT on it, just like it would be from the sun. So this is not a permanent install. Let me show you what I got going on here. It's a DC power supply, 72 volts, which is what these panels put out at full load. So it takes 120 volts and makes 72 volts DC up to 600 watts worth of juice. So this is sold as like a CNC power supply. Uh, RPS has a very similar, well actually the same controller on their website and they want $300 for this little rig here. Well, I found it on Amazon for $48 and got it within two days. So if you've got an RPS pump, I'm going to look this part number back up and put it in the description of this video. You see, it's just temporary. I'm eventually going to run PV cable to the powerhouse and have this mounted inside. So this is just a beta testing today just to see if it works. So I'll put a link in the description to this one. I bought another controller too that's got variable, variable voltage output. Just basically a DC switching, switching relay. So it takes 120 volts and puts out 72 gate regulated on this one. And the other one that will be in in a few days is a uh, adjustable. So I got two different ones and this one came in first and it's working great. So let me go over here to the tanks and show you where we started and where we're at now. So these two tanks were down to 50 gallons in each tank. The water inside's clear, it's just the outside's dirty. It's crystal clear water inside. but. A little dirt on the outside from being out in the weather so you know it is what it is but so just a little while ago we were down at that bottom rung right down there and now we're almost slam full on both tanks so I put a little load to the Honda it's pulling about 800 watts out of the Honda which I'm having to run it anyhow to uh, charge the batteries uh, for the main power so I figured I'd just rob a little bit of extra juice off the little Honda 3000 and fill these tanks so doing pretty good got 500 gallons so we'll be in good shape full water pressure off the gravity feed again so very very good for 48 bucks for the little uh dc power supply and here's a better shot of the part number right there and it's got adjustable voltage dials right here I got it, it was set at like 73 volts uh, with no load on it. I didn't adjust it with the load, it's down to like 65 volts now, so I could just turn this little dash pot up and bring the voltage up, make the pump pump faster. I didn't want to load the generator too much because it's already pulling about 1800, 1900 watts off of it, charging the, uh, the main power batteries, the lithium batteries for the house. So good little, good little device here my little bag of tricks and, uh, and I said this is just a temporary rig so don't give me grief about how I got it just sitting on a bucket this is just proof of concept so I'll be trenching up through there where this drop cord's run and then running PV cable underground and I'm gonna put a switching box up here at the uh, RPS control panel uh, double pole double throw switch so I can just switch over to uh, to the PV for here instead of the solar panels calls the way the way it is you have to you have to just unplug your panels and that's what rps recommends and it even says on our website that the power supply they they sell you for 300 bucks is the best they could find and it's they're not marking it up well that's a bold faced lie but anyhow it's another topic for another day but there'll be more on this power supply just wanted to share with you folks uh an option if you have a solar powered well pump to uh, get you some water and a uh cloudy rainy situation if you don't have enough storage I'm gonna sit and monitor everything so 
Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you don't mind, please hit the uh, like button. I'd greatly appreciate that. Got any questions or anything or feedback, just please put it in the, uh, the comment section. And uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate a subscription from you. So thank you for watching the Offer Mountain Homestead. See y'all later.